During the past few weeks, I've been addressing audiences about how we, who believe in freedom, liberty, and individual rights, can defeat the enemies of these God-given gifts, not just on the battlefield of politics, but more importantly, on the battlefield of spiritual warfare. I have quite often said that it is no coincidence that Canada and the United States of America are simultaneously facing the same challenges of growing tyrannical and communist powers creeping into every aspect of our lives. The reason we are the targets of evil is because we are the strongest beacons of faith, freedom, and liberty for the entire world. All of us are inundated with news of laws, executive orders, and government policies that are designed to chip away at our faith, freedoms, liberties, and individual rights. Every communist government has as its priority the mission to destroy the faith of its people. Their ideology is grounded in atheism, and their policies are designed to enslave the people to the governing powers. It is the government that is to be worshipped, not God. It is no secret that the Chinese Communist Party on one front and the World Economic Forum on another front are attempting to squeeze freedom-loving people to the point that they will lose all motivation and energy to, to continue the fight for freedom and liberty. I believe that the CCP and the WEF are in some fashion changing their tactics in this fight against freedom and liberty, from fighting on the political battlefield to fighting on the spiritual battlefield, because they are beginning to realize that if they can't beat us in a spiritual war, they will never beat us in a political war. I believe this is so because they have stepped up their propaganda campaigns designed to bring fear to the doorstep of every person opposed to them by targeting their religious freedoms as a priority. The weapon they are using is fear. Replace their faith with fear and paralyze them to a point where the people dare not even think of fighting them. That is exactly what they are trying to do. They are changing their tactics because the reality is they fear the people. Yes, they fear you, they fear me, they fear anyone who is opposing them and is fighting to preserve their freedom and liberty. They see the worldwide uprisings against the WEF and CCP. They see the unity of the people in the United States and Canada and that wave growing power all across the globe. Power of what? Power of the people. Know this, don't expect the media and others to show you in any way, shape or form the true power of the people. The fact is, they know those of us who are fighting to preserve our faith, freedoms and liberties far outnumber them by the millions. And they also know that we have a mighty and powerful weapon that they must take from us to defeat us. That weapon is our faith in God, the word of God, and the sword of the spirit. They also know that every tyrant in government in the history of mankind that turned from God and toward tyranny and evil was not only defeated by the people who refused to surrender their faith, freedom, and liberty, but they were destroyed by the very God they opposed. Yet knowing all of this, they still try in vain to defeat the king of kings and the people who love and worship him. That's the way it has always been, and that's the way it will be until God says enough is enough. And so, my friends, keep the faith. History is on our side. History is on your side. So what is your job in the fight for freedom and liberty in this 21st century? Well, the answer is found in that great book, the Bible, the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. And what an answer it is. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. That's you. Because he has anointed me. That's you. To proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me. That's you. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. Well, since God sent you for such a time as this, no one can defeat you. They lose, we win. I'm Lieutenant Stephen Rogers.